part of the team no longer. So what? So we're washed up. Big deal. But we can't just take this without fighting back. If those illusions were the work of the Enchantress, we've got to prove it. But how can we? If we continue working together, we'll be defying a legal court order. We'd become outlaws. Yeah. For services rendered, you get a kick in the teeth. You can have it, kitties. I'm bowing up. You're just giving up, Hawkeye, after all your big talk. No, I'm just dumping the whole Avenger teamwork kick back in your lap. Take a bow, noble leader. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another episode of Diverse Comics and Pop. And I'm your host, Fred Malenik. Before we get to today's wonderful episode that I want to share with you guys, I'm going to need you to press that like button and click that subscribe button and flick on that bell so you get notifications every time I post. And for everyone to share this channel and let's grow it. I know you see it popping. I know you see it. Let's let it get it jumping like grease. Pop, 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 pop. It's running up, y'all. Oh, man, what's on my lip? Oh, y'all don't know what that was. So let's get this channel up, y'all. We had 300 subscribers and we're growing it. We're almost to 400. Let's push for the fold. Get to that thousand and everyone be part of the diverse family. Let me get some to drink, y'all. It's been a long day. Mm. You can see AJ Solo mug. That's my AJ Solo mug, and that's my Eric on that. Ain't that cool? Ah, um, today's video, where I'm calling it, you guys see it now. My discovery of Jack Kirby, along with Stan Lee, of creating the Black Panther. Um, when I was young growing up, I had an uncle. I always tell this everybody next time I do these interviews, I always mention my uncle, er my uncle Erskine. Shout out to my uncle Erskine Leonard. He had a huge comic book collection, y'all. His comic collection was huge, all right? And um, he had these Black Panther comic books. It was called Jungle Action. Um, they was by uh, these were the Jungle Action book that was done by Dom McGregor, along with he had a lot of artists. And sometimes it would switch up. It would be Dom McGregor, Keith Poland, Polard. It'd be uh, Billy Graham. Then sometimes it'd be Rich Buckler. Then uh, I think Roy Thomas did a book along with Gene Colan. So he had all these Jungle Action books. And I'm pouring through each book. And I'm fascinated by this character, Black Panther. I'm fascinated. And I kept seeing the other guest appearance of books and stuff. Excuse me, along with other books and stuff he had. He used a lot of guest appearances, uh, Daredevil. And um, I was just fascinated by this character, man. I'm like, man, who is this Black Panther character, man? I'm loving him. But you know, at that time when you're young, you don't know who created these characters. You don't know who the creation of it. You don't know none of this stuff. You just thinking these characters are just being drawn. You know what I'm saying? It's being drawn and, and, and for people to like. You know, the, the, the roots of that came when I was uh when I was when I was like around 15, 16 years old. And I decided I wanted to be a comic book artist. When I was a kid, I was drawn. But when you get older, you start realizing what you want to be when you start getting to like teenage years. And I don't want to, I wanted to be a comic book artist, man. And so what I did was um I went I went to uh <clears throat> I went to my I went to this this before it was uh before Wizard took over it was called Chicago Comic Con in 1993. I never forget this. <laughs> I had uh my artwork on me. I didn't have a portfolio. I know nothing about having a portfolio, man. I had my portfolio I had my artwork like in this. It was like a uh it was like a briefcase, not like a briefcase you care, but it was like a one of them uh 
throw the briefcases that you know you just put stuff in you can carry it around in your hand or, or I took it on your arm like this and um <laughs> I was taking it around yes I was getting uh all type of uh rejections and uh you know you gotta do it you gotta do this kid you gotta have a portfolio kid and all this but I, then I ran in, I went to Artist Alley decided to show my work me and my uncle and uh, we went these two gentlemen, Michael McClain and Don Don um, and Don and Donald McQuay. Older guys. Uh, they seen my work, they seen my uncle's work, they see what we had potential, they seen we had the talent. And that was based here in Chicago, which was a huge score. Um they had art school. Well not one of art school, but it was like a art program within a college, King to King College. And they offered the they like, well, yeah, you, you guys got the talent. We would love for you to come to the school, you know. And we agree with oh man, oh man, yes, yes. You know, of course I'm young. I'm I'm 15, 16 years old, man. I'm still in, I'm in high school. And my mother was not gonna let me just go to the go draw some comic books without doing no homework and stuff. So that's what I did. Had to do my homework in order to go to this to the to the school. So I'm at school, we be learning stuff, and then we become best of friends. I am still friends with two of, two of these guys I'm talking about till this day. And uh, so Don offered me to come, go to his house, and I'm fascinated by his house, man. He got all these member brilliant stuff. Jack Kirby, uh, uh, Captain America, all this stuff, all this stuff. Posters like a, a damn museum. So he's like, so Raymond, what, 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 what books did you like? You know, he was just, you know, getting to know me, and I was like, oh man, I love this time. Like I said, image was popping and hot and popping, you know. Oh man, I love Young Blood, uh, X Force, and all these ninety books. So okay, I, and I love the Black Panther, and I love the Black Panther. So you do, but he said, um, Black Panther by Jack Kirby. And I'm like, who? You know, you know Jack Kirby, he created the Black Panther. I ain't heard of that. I mean, I heard, of, I know, I, I knew a Black Panther, but I know, you know, who created him. Like, yeah, man, Jack Kirby created him. I mean, he got all these like these classic comic books, man, old school. So he pulls out uh, the Fantastic Four issue fifty two. Fan, yes, Fantastic Four issue fifty two, and they got the Black Panther on there. This Black Panther. On there, this cover, and I'm like, oh my god, man, what is this? I gotta do hold up. He explained to me, this is the first appearance of the Black Panther. He said, feel free to go, go ahead, open it, go ahead, go, go ahead. I'm, I'm assuming he had two copies because I don't think he would let me just open that book. But knowing Don, Don I probably got three copies. And um, people, I poured over that book and poured over that book. The excitement, I was speechless. He kicked the shot of uh, Fantastic Four. I'm talking, he took these guys down one by one, handily, handily, knocking them out. You see this? Look at that. Man, guys, I was blown away by this. Of this excitement of what this of the, what this Jack Kirby did, how he introduced them, him and you know him steadily, and I was just blown by that man. And I went home like just stunned. I, I, I think I took Don. I think I talked Don's ear off that day. I think he got tired of me. <laughs> I think okay, get time for you to go home because I had so much questions to ask him. And um, because you no know, Don's I work is. He, just like Jack Kirby, because he's a Jack Kirby fan. He draws just like Jack Kirby. Um, and I just had so many questions, man. So I went home. I, I was obsessed with this Jack Kirby. And I looked all of them up. I looked everything on his documentaries on YouTube. I was so fascinated. I, I, was, I was obsessed. I was obsessed. And um, so I just started reading up on him. I started reading up on him, man. So I just started reading up how they... Put this iconic character called Black Panther together, and I went down in 19, 1960. 
that they came up with the Black Panther, the King, the Wakanda. Man, I poured over all this information. I was I was excited. It was like me doing homework without being told to do the homework. <laughs> and I did so much of that homework about Jack Kirby and Stanley Creighton, the Black Panther. You have no idea how much excitement that was to me. I, I, I know I feel excited. I'm talking to you guys about this because it's, it's taking me back as I'm telling you this. It's taking me back to that moment when I found out all about this. When I found out that these two white guys created a black superhero. Um. Now I wrote down some stuff because I don't, you know, I, I was trying to remind what I'm talking about because, like I said, I'm in my 40s now. Sometimes I can forget shit. But I came across a, a, a article. It was like a um, the 1990. Uh, it's a 1990 interview with the Comics Journal. I they were talking to Jack Kirby, and I asked him. Um, they asked him why did he how um why he created the character the Black Panther, and his words were, "This is this is from Jack Kirby's words." I'm gonna read it right here. I, I wrote it. This is from his words. I came up with the Black Panther because I realized I had no blacks. In my strips, and I had a lot of black readers. My first friend was black. Wow, wow, man, wow. He knew that he had black readers, and he had a best friend that was black, and he had to know he had to do something to represent to show them, hey, you 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 got superheroes too, and he created the Black Panther from that. He realized he had readers, black readers reading his stuff, buying his books, and you know he had to represent them. It wasn't a, it wasn't about hate or it wasn't about trying to uh, push political views. He knew that creating an original character, a black original character, would 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 would, would bring excitement to his black readers. And I think that's what we miss it today. When in, 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 in comics is original black creator on books. Instead, you know, the corporate companies like Marvel, these they giving us these whitewash characters. Black Thor, uh, Black Iron Man, Black Spider-Man. You know, it just go on. I mean, don't get me wrong, I like uh Rax um um uh, Max Morales or whatever or Spider-Man, but just all the watch that handy downs, man. I'm just not cool with it. I'm just, you know, I love original. I love um original. And Jack Kirby created an original character. He created the Black Panther, him and Stanley, in 1960. Um, <clears throat> and on top of that, I discovered that that the, the first appearance when they first created Black Panther what they was going to go with at first. Thank God, you know, that they, 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 that first design didn't go through, but you see it right on the screen there. You know, he's wearing the, he's wearing the, the, the short red cape. Uh, he's wearing that short red cape. The the brightly colored uh, yellow stripes going down. And he's you can see his face. That was the first attempt. Then they went with the, 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 uh, the second attempt when they had him in all black and all black but you still see his like his nose and his mouth so they decided now nah, we'll just cover it all up and of course they came they had another name it was called before they called him black panther it was called um the cold tiger that's what stan was going to call him the cold tiger um but it was shorthand for called the uh Cardinal, it was called the Cardinal, for the uh, Colonel African Nations. That's what that's that's, that's what that stands for. That's gonna call him. But then, like now, nah, then they came to the clue. Let's call him the Black Panther. Boom! Star was born. The Black freaking Panther. 
the reason I also did this video because I was in certain groups, y'all, and you will be, you'll be surprised that you got a lot of these people that do not know who really created this character. I see the ignorance all the time online on Facebook, man, and on a certain sites so across social media. And these are my fans. I won't say fans. These are people who are not really fans of the, of the comics. They're assuming that they can Hollywood just magically and Marvel just magically did this from straight out of Hollywood. And then, you know, I hate arguing with uh, stupidity, man. I hate it. And, you know, and it's best people need to really educate themselves about these characters and where they came from. The roots. The roots of them. And uh, this is for awareness for those who really don't know. But you see this video, you, you're going to know. And this is why I did it. Um, I want to bring awareness on who created the Black Panther, which was two white guys, two, you know, Jewish white guys. No hatred in they soul. They want to, to create comics for everybody to love. And that's what I'm doing with Diverse Comics. I'm creating comics for everyone to love. Yes, Edge Solo is black. Yes, Violent Bird is black. Gaitron is white. He's a white guy. You know, I'm creating diversity, real diversity. I'm not trying to, to, to equal tear people apart. I want, I want my comments to be for everyone, no matter what race you are. I want to do what Jack Kirby did. Realize that I have a readership of all races, and I want everyone to feel welcome and enjoy the characters I create that they can see themselves as, that represent them. Some they can love, enjoy. So, you know, when you get a diverse comment, you're going to see that. I'm loving everyone. <laughs> um, but that's it, guys. I just wanted to share that. Share this with you. My my discovery of who Jack Kirby was and Stanley and all of them who created this iconic kind of character for Black Panther. I cannot wait to what kind of come out. I want to see it. Even though people are complaining about it's not a Black Panther because it's not the real Black the Chad. Uh, they didn't ever replace, you know, Chad from uh, being a Black Panther. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna still go see it because I love, I just, I love, I love the generic comics, man. I love everything comic books, man. And like, I went to go see Black Adam. I'm going to see Black Panther. I'm not gonna see other comic movies. Some movies might be good. Some might not, might don't be good. But I'm gonna go, go see it, and I'm gonna give my opinion about it. This is how I roll. I don't go by word of mouth or what people say. I just go see it for myself and have my own my own opinion so I can get to others. And so they can have their own opinion about it when they go see it. See how that works. Um, But that's what I wanted to share with you guys, man. I, I was just so excited. I just couldn't wait to get on here and do that. Um, Oh, man, my agent solo mug is really keeping me up today, y'all, because I've been so busy. I'm talking. About, I've been busy, ladies and gentlemen. I'm gonna be showing. I'm gonna be sharing a lot of stuff on this channel. It's gonna be a lot. Um, I just want to thank all of you guys for showing the love, man, that you show for this channel, man. Y'all helping the great. I had no idea. I'm so so happy for y'all. Thank you guys so much. I'm very blessed and humble. And what is the way this channel is going? It's growing, and I'm and I, I thank you guys so much. Thank you. Um, more episodes, y'all already know coming. Just make sure you pressing that like button. Press that like button, man. Press it. The more likes I get, eyeballs. Oh, a lot of eyeballs will see it, and then we become diverse family too. So make sure you pressing that like button and you subscribing to this channel. You clicking that bell. Those three things don't cost anything. All just free. Just beep, 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 beep. And go on with your business. And you'll be a part of Diverse Family. You'll be able to see all the great videos I get. Uh, torture videos for you artists out there who want to be comic artists and just want to better your work, but you'll know how. I'm going to have all type of stuff that help me. Hopefully will help you. 
Okay? You guys have a blessed day. You be safe out there. Also, keep creating, making your own comic books, and loving what you do, and follow your dreams. Ran them out. Take care. Dang, dang, man. I keep pressing this button and just, ah, uh, I always do this. Take care. Subscribe. Help the channel grow. Be a part of the diverse family. And please, share and let everybody know about diverse comics. And pop.